Why Democracy is Mathematically Impossible The assertion that democracy is mathematically impossible is often linked to certain paradoxes and mathematical theories that challenge the idea of perfect, fair, or optimal democratic outcomes. While democracy remains a core system of governance worldwide, the mathematical impossibility arguments are rooted in several areas. 1. Arrow's Impossibility Theorem Kenneth Arrow's Impossibility Theorem, or Arrow's Paradox, is a cornerstone of this argument. It states that no voting system can simultaneously satisfy all of the following conditions when converting individual preferences into a collective decision. Unrestricted domain. Every possible set of individual preferences is allowed. Non-dictatorship. No single voter possesses overriding power over the others. Pareto efficiency. If everyone prefers one option over another, then the group preference should reflect that. Independence of irrelevant alternatives. The societal preference between any two choices should not be influenced by the introduction or removal of other alternatives. This theorem demonstrates that no voting system can perfectly represent the will of the people without violating one or more of these principles. Essentially, it proves that it's impossible to design a fair voting system that reflects true democratic ideals in all circumstances, suggesting inherent flaws in democratic decision-making. 2. Condorcet Paradox The Condorcet Paradox shows that majority preferences can be cyclic, even if individual preferences are not. For example, in a group of three voters deciding between three options, A, B, and C, it's possible that a majority prefers A to B, a majority prefers B to C, a majority prefers C to A. This paradox highlights the idea that collective preferences can be inconsistent, leading to situations where there is no clear winner. In a democracy, this creates challenges for decision-making and questions the very idea of achieving a true will of the people. 3. Voting Paradoxes and Strategic Voting Democracies also face issues with strategic voting and voting paradoxes, where individuals may not vote for their true preferences. For instance, in a plurality voting system, people might vote for a candidate they think has a better chance of winning rather than their genuine favorite. This distorts the reflection of the actual popular will, and when aggregated, the results may not reflect the true desires of the electorate. Additionally, systems like first-past-the-post often lead to two-party dominance, where minority voices are squeezed out. More complex systems like ranked-choice voting can reduce this issue, but even they are not immune to strategic manipulation. 4. jabard satterthwaite Theorem The jabard satterthwaite Theorem extends the impossibility results of Arrow's theorem by proving that in any non-dictatorial voting system where voters have three or more options, there will always be an incentive for strategic voting. This means that voters can sometimes achieve a more favorable outcome by misrepresenting their true preferences. This undermines the basic principle of democracy that voters should express their true choices to reflect the will of the people. 5. Aggregation Problems and Information Overload Another mathematical issue arises from the problem of aggregating diverse opinions in large populations. In any large-scale democracy, the number of preferences and opinions can be so vast and diverse that it becomes mathematically complex to aggregate them in a way that reflects a true and coherent collective will. This leads to potential information overload, where key issues get drowned out by less important ones, or where democratic processes become inefficient due to the sheer volume of information that needs to be processed. 6. Tyranny of the Majority Though not a purely mathematical problem, democracy's vulnerability to the tyranny of the majority is another point of contention. The majority's preferences may dominate the system, potentially infringing on the rights of minorities. The balance between majority rule and protecting minority rights is a fundamental tension in democratic theory, and no mathematical system has resolved it perfectly. A theoretical impossibility, yet a practical success. While the above mathematical models show democracy's limitations, they do not render democracy useless or irrelevant. Rather, they expose challenges in achieving a perfect democratic system. 
In practice, democracies have developed checks and balances to mitigate these theoretical impossibilities, such as constitutional rights, judicial review, and proportional representation. Despite its mathematical challenges, democracy persists as one of the most practical and adaptable systems for representing diverse populations and their interests. If you found value in this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to support this channel. Please share across social media platforms to reach a wider audience. How do democracies address the issues raised by Arrow's impossibility theorem and other paradoxes in practice? Democracies, while aware of the limitations highlighted by Arrow's impossibility theorem and other paradoxes, have developed strategies to mitigate these issues. 1. Compromise and Pragmatism Most democracies accept that no perfect system exists and aim for a practical, workable solution. They use voting systems that balance fairness with feasibility, acknowledging that some compromises, example, between efficiency and inclusiveness, are necessary. 2. Checks and Balances To counteract the effects of majority rule and prevent the dominance of a single group, that is, the tyranny of the majority, democracies implement checks and balances through constitutional protections, independent judiciaries, and federalism. These mechanisms ensure that minority rights and preferences are safeguarded even when majority preferences dominate. 3. Multi-tiered Governance Issues are often handled at different levels, local, regional, and national, to prevent information overload and allow voters to express their preferences in smaller, more manageable settings. This decentralization can dilute the effects of voting paradoxes by addressing problems more locally. 4. Constitutional Frameworks Many democracies operate within a constitutional framework that limits the range of decisions subject to majority voting. Fundamental rights and principles are often excluded from democratic decision-making to prevent the contradictions highlighted by Arrow's theorem from undermining core societal values. Are there any proposed solutions or alternative voting systems that could mitigate the mathematical challenges of democracy? Several alternative voting systems have been proposed to address the limitations of traditional voting systems and to mitigate the challenges raised by Arrow's impossibility theorem and other paradoxes. 1. Ranked Choice Voting RCV, also known as Instant Runoff Voting RCV allows voters to rank candidates in order of preference. If no candidate wins a majority outright, the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated, and their votes are redistributed based on the next preferences until a candidate wins. While this system doesn't fully escape Arrow's theorem, it helps avoid some issues like the spoiler effect where a third-party candidate splits the vote, and strategic voting. 2. Approval voting. In approval voting, voters can vote for as many candidates as they approve of, without ranking them. The candidate with the most approval votes wins. This method reduces the impact of strategic voting and gives voters more flexibility, as they don't need to vote tactically to avoid wasting their votes. 3. Condorcet method. The Condorcet method seeks to find the candidate who would win a head-to-head -head comparison against every other candidate. Although this method can help solve some paradoxes, it isn't perfect, as it may not always identify a clear winner if no candidate can win all head-to-head -head contests, leading to cyclic preferences, as shown by the Condorcet paradox. 4. Proportional representation PR. Many democracies, particularly in Europe, use proportional representation, where parties win seats in proportion to the number of votes they receive. This system helps ensure that a wider range of preferences is represented, reducing the distortions caused by first-past-the-post systems. Although PR doesn't eliminate all paradoxes, it provides a more inclusive reflection of societal preferences. 5. Deliberative Democracy Instead of focusing purely on voting, deliberative democracy emphasizes informed discussion and debate among citizens before making decisions. This approach can help mitigate the effects of paradoxes by allowing for a more nuanced consideration of issues rather than reducing everything to a simple vote. What are the real-world implications of these mathematical challenges on democratic decision-making and governance? 1. Electoral System Design the insights from Arrow's impossibility theorem and other paradoxes influence how electoral systems are designed. 
Countries that aim for more representative governance tend to adopt proportional systems, for example, Germany, and New Zealand, to avoid the distortions inherent in simple plurality systems, even though no system is perfect. 2. Policy stability versus cycling preferences Democratic systems often struggle with policy instability due to cyclical preferences, where public opinion on an issue swings back and forth. This cycle makes it difficult to achieve lasting consensus, leading to frequent changes in policy direction with each election cycle, as seen in countries like Italy. 3. Coalition governments. In many democracies, especially those with proportional representation, no single party can dominate, so coalition governments are necessary. While this mitigates the risks of winner-takes-all outcomes, it also leads to compromises and sometimes slow decision-making, as multiple parties must negotiate policies. 4. Polarization and strategic voting. In majoritarian or plurality systems, the pressure for strategic voting can lead to political polarization, where voters are pushed toward choosing between only two dominant parties. This dynamic can exclude smaller, more moderate parties and create a less representative political landscape, as seen in the United States. 5. Complexity in governance. The mathematical complexities of aggregating preferences mean that decision-making in democracies often involves compromises and trade-offs. No system can perfectly capture all preferences, so democracies rely on institutional mechanisms, like checks and balances or judicial oversight, to compensate for the imperfections in voting systems. 6. Citizen disillusionment. Awareness of these paradoxes and imperfections can lead to public disillusionment with democracy, especially when people feel that their vote doesn't count or that the system doesn't reflect their true preferences. This can manifest in lower voter turnout and a rise in populist movements that promise simpler, more direct forms of decision-making. While the mathematical challenges of democracy, such as Arrow's impossibility theorem and voting paradoxes, highlight the inherent flaws in any voting system, democracies use a combination of checks and balances, alternative voting systems, and practical compromises to address these issues. These imperfections have real-world implications, affecting the design of electoral systems, the stability of policies, and the nature of governance itself. Despite these challenges, democracy remains adaptable and continues to evolve as societies seek more representative and efficient ways to govern. If you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to our channel for more self-improvement videos. Comment below to tell us how useful you found this video. Remember to share on various social media platforms to reach a wider audience. Click the notification bell to get notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.